Welcome to another edition of Just Legal History. I'm your host, Mike. I wanted to talk to you about day six of the Hannah Gutierrez Reed trial. We saw five witnesses for the state take the stand today. The first witness was Brian Carpenter. He is the owner of 13 South Productions, which is a productions company. Brian talked about his experience being an armorer on set and that he has done over 100 films, documentaries, TV shows, etc. He was brought in as an expert witness for what should be done on set regarding firearms. Brian discussed different videos that the prosecutor showed him about the different scenes that were filmed on the movie. Brian talked about the things that he saw that were issues in his mind. In one scene, we saw Baldwin running up a hill, and then we hear the word cut, but Alex still fought, fired his gun, which is a big no-no. He also talked about scenes where he thought that the camera was too close to the actors for when blanks were used. He said that even though that when blanks are used in scenes, there could still be some projectiles that come out that can hurt skin or go into eyes. Brian also pointed out parts of the scenes where the actor still had their guns after they stopped shooting, and at least one actor would use the gun as a pointer. The second person to testify was a producer for the show, Ryan Winterstern. His testimony wasn't very long because he was more of a behind-the-scenes producer. The next person to testify was John Zelo. This is where we learned that he was a grip, and grips are responsible for a lot of the behind-the-scenes work. He said that they are the MacGyvers of the crew. He talked about two things that worried him, that prop carts were left unattended with firearms and ammo. He also said that actors would have their guns well beyond their scenes. The next person up was David Halls. He was the first assistant director. He is an important person because he has, he has pled guilty resulting from the shooting accident and he has already been sentenced to six months of probation. Halls had several responsibilities on set, and one of those was taking the gun from the armorer and handing it to the actor. He testified that he took the gun that Hannah prepared, inspected it, saw what he thought was five dummy rounds and one other empty round, and then handed the gun to Baldwin. I think there are some differences on what actually happened, but overall he seemed to witness favorable to Hannah. The last witness was, that, was Sarah Zachary. She was the props master for the rest set. The props master is in charge of all props that any of the actors will touch during the filming. Sarah talked about her career in film and also that said that she left the film industry after rust. Sarah describes who the vendor for the guns and ammo on set and that person was Seth Canning. She said that she picked up the ammo for the 45 long gun prior to the start of shooting from Seth. She was even asked at one point if she brought the live rounds to the set, and she said no. Then we get to the, to the day in question, and Sarah describes how after lunch, she loaded the guns for two other actors. But she said that Hannah was the one that loaded Baldwin's gun. She describes the gun going off, a louder sound than normal for dummies going, dummies going off, and then heard the scream of the producer. Later that afternoon, she said she threw away the bullets from the other guns and then put the guns away in the prop, uh, prop truck. She then said she, she did some tests on the other bullets by rattling them around, and not all of them rattled. Her cross-examination starts tomorrow morning. If you like what you heard, please click on like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.